Hello YouTube. Um, I am going to be working on a project here soon, hopefully, <laughs> that um, is basically what I want to do is build a lathe that uh, is used for turning cork grips and it will be dedicated just to that. Um, you could also turn wood grips on it, probably even pin blanks if you wanted to or something like that. But before I got started on the project, you know, I was trying to think of how I was going to supply the power needed to turn those. And what I, what I have here is a motor and it's a small little 24 volt DC motor and it's pretty small it's um just under five inches across and about five inches tall and the reason this would make a good project motor uh, or one of the reasons is it's got a nice little bracket made onto the bottom it's welded onto it uh be real easy to mount uh it's small in size it's pretty quiet uh and it doesn't require a ton of power to run it. It's a 24 volt powered um, motor. It's got a lot of torque to it for such a small motor. It's a 250 watt motor, if I'm not mistaken. It came off of a Model E300 Razor scooter. And like I say, it's powered by 24 volts and it's quiet, it's compact, it's got a nice mounting bracket, it's got a decent sized shaft on it, so it should make a good motor for a lot of different projects so what I wanted to do is just kind of share what I what I found about the motor on YouTube because there's a lot of times people are looking for small motors to power different projects and things so I thought other people other than the ones that typically tune in to my fishing content would be interested in this motor uh, so I just put it out there just just as a reference for other people, if you want to know about the noise levels, uh, I'm going to run some tests using this little laser um, speed tester. It checks the RPMs on the motor. Uh, what I've got running the motor is a 24 volt 15 amp power supply. And what I'm using to control the speed on it is a small pulse width modulated board. It's a PWM board. Both of these you can pick up on Amazon probably for around 30 bucks for both and the motor itself I got off of a scooter and the scooter was like 10 bucks um, it had bad batteries in it it was at a thrift store they wanted 10 bucks for it so I figured for 10 bucks you know if I got any use out of anything off of it it probably pay for itself the motor is really nice I, I like it quite a bit and there's other parts on the scooter I'll be able to use possibly even in this same project too so but for now, uh, what I wanted to do was check the speed range on it. You know, kind of from a, from the low end side to the kind of the midpoint or somewhere close to it, and then the upper end. I want to check the RPMs on the motor. You know, low, mid, and high. I also wanted to show you how smoothly this motor can be controlled with the with the PWM controller, and also I'm not going to show it in this video but I've checked it and on the low end um, it's it's still got quite a bit of torque so if you put it down you know somewhere around 100 rpms or so you can it's got quite a bit of torque to it and it'll still be kind of tough to stop the shaft from turning uh, I've done it with my hand and it's got quite a bit of torque so it's a really strong little motor for for no bigger than it is and I think it would have a lot of applications for a lot of other people in different projects. So I just wanted to get it out there in case people were wondering about, you know, what sort of motor I might be able to use to power a project. Uh, this, this is a pretty good little motor. And again, I'm running this with a 15 amp power supply. If you were using um, something where you needed a lot of startup torque, uh, you might want to go to like a, a 30 amp power supply possibly. I think for what I'm using, I'm going to start it out under no load and then build up the speed on it before it gets any load put on it. So I think 15 amps should be fine for what I want to do. I'm not an electrician, but I know a little bit about some things. But if anybody you know has any thoughts on that 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 knows more than I do, I'd certainly listen and and uh, and learn. <laughs> 
that's about as low as it'll go and continue to turn so this will be our low end here and I will just check the RPMs on that so we're looking at about 23 RPMs on the low end now if you crank it up just a little faster than that right about there uh, just checking it by hand before it still got quite a bit of torque right there so you know if you're looking for your low end torque that's about as slow as you'll want to get and still have quite a bit of torque and it's around uh, you know just under 110 rpms so somewhere in the 100 to 200 range you, you've got quite a bit of torque you get less than that it doesn't have much torque but it might have other useful applications for turning something at a slow speed uh, after you've been working on it, if you're just letting a finish dry or something like that, you could turn the speed down some uh, to spin it out a little slower. I'm going to get this up somewhere around the mid range, hopefully. Let's try right about there. But let's check the RPMs here at this speed. So 1721 RPMs. That's right about in, at the mid mid range there. Now I'm going to take it on up. That's as fast as we'll go. So we were at about 34.44 on the RPMs on the high end. So just around 3500 RPMs. Is, is where it maxes out. I don't know how well this, this the noise level will pick up through the microphone that I'm wearing on my shirt but hopefully that will come through um, and give you an idea of how loud it is. It's pretty quiet. Alright so you know if you're looking for a, a pretty torquey small motor for a project you have in mind you might want to look at one of these scooter motors uh, I can also show you real quick it's pretty easy it's got a decent size shaft on it I'd have to measure it again I believe it's around eight millimeters in diameter this is actually a, a reverse threaded nut so in order to loosen it you have to go clockwise to get it to come off and there's just a little lock washer and the little spur gear for your sprocket for your chain and a little steel shaft spacer and the shaft on the motor has a flat spot on it uh, so if you're going to use a pulley you could use one that matched the diameter of the shaft and used a set screw and tighten it down on that flat spot it would work perfect but I just wanted to let y'all see kind of how this motor runs. Uh, again, this isn't necessarily geared strictly towards my normal audience, but maybe to people who are looking at these particular motors and just curious about how they ran outside of the scooter, what the noise levels were like, what the RPM range was like, and, you know, possibly even a different, you know, a way of controlling it with as far as your power supply and your speed control goes on it this is one option for sure that should work out pretty nice for a lot of people so i just thought i'd share that with everybody and thanks for watching and i will get more fishing related stuff out there too for for the normal viewers i've got but i want everybody to take care and i'll talk to y'all later thanks